Hello and welcome to Endless Rain, Thief Girl Fan Machine by Skaki. Let's uh, get to the uh, objective screen so there's a little less clanging and then I'll read the briefing. There was a time when thieves and murderers strived as darkness ruled. The heathen slept, dreaming their heretical way of life would last forever. But then came the master builder and with him the light of justice and the miscreants were cast down to the earth by his holy judgment. The Book of the Stone The high blasters of Stone Market called me tonight, whispering a sweet lullaby of dark smoke and grinding machinery to my ears. It was not long ago I swiped a magical relic from my old friends the Keepers, but this time is now over, and life resumed its course. I am again low on funds, and not in the best shape. Keeping my network of associates was hard enough, but I suspect one of those backstabbing bastards had the nerve to wrap me out to the hammers, a swarm of fanatics came to bash the door of my hideout. Luckily for me, I managed to get out, but in the commotion I forgot to take some of my equipment with me, most notably my climbing gear. I can't risk going back to Southport and not with all the activity down there. I guess I have to borrow some ropes on my way, because I'll need them if I want to get the piece I'm being commissioned for. Not to mention my usual supplier won a trip to Crags Cleft recently. I got a nice job mostly by accident. As I was pawning up some items, a greasy old beggar approached me, introducing himself as Cutty. Beneath all the grime on his clothes and his crude way of talking, you could tell he was someone very clever and particularly methodical, and I was impressed, to say the least. No one would ever suspect that tramp, perfectly blending in the city's finest populace of being one of the most famous fences in town. I introduced myself, and he was mildly amused. I could see he wasn't convinced I was the one who sacked Beric's manor and pulled off so many daring jobs, so he offered me a job as a test. My goal tonight is very simple. I'm to steal a precious old opal called Moon Tear from Lord Monsegur, the new warden of Stone Market. Cutty did not tell me exactly why he wanted this opal in particular, but he's ready to pay me quite a sum if I return the opal to him, and will consider offering me prime jobs the kind only real professionals get, and with the promise of reliable funds. On other occasions I would have declined the offer. I prefer to stay away from these wardens as much as I can, but the prospect of working with a person of his reputation is not something you can refuse and Stone Market is a rather wealthy district with all these thieving merchants and fat nobles around. It's just too good to resist. I will enter through Iron Gate when lights will dim. It's a cold and rainy night, so I doubt I'll find many people out in the streets. From there, I'll need to proceed to Montague's Manor that's located north of the Hammerite Clock Tower. I know Stone Market has been the theatre of various thefts lately, so I imagine the district will be on watch during the night, with guards ready to arrest unlawful interlopers, and Montague's Manor will most likely be well protected. My first goal will be to find some ropes. One of my associates is ready to give me a potential tip, but, as always, it comes at a price. Or I could always pay the merchants a little visit to see if they have some wares for a taffer like me. Time to go. Okay, so, oh dear. So we do absolutely get bonus objectives, so let's just see what normal has first, for us first. Find Monsieur's prized opal, Moon Tear, and redistribute it to yourself. Monsugur's position as Warden of Stone Market and Lower Locks is extremely contested, and he is meticulous and cautious, so his manner is without a shadow of doubt protected. You are low on money, and above all, you have lost a part of your equipment. Find at least 1500 worth of valuables. Once you're done, return to where you started. So we go up to Hard, we get 2000 on the goal. Monsugur must, must keep some notes on his associates and enemies. See if you can find these. Lord Felton passed away recently and had a priceless ruby in his possession. He doesn't need it anymore, so steal it. Uh, yeah, sacking the households of Stone Market should be very lucrative. Blood of innocence on your hands is the last thing you want. Don't kill any unarmed people. We come to Expert, we get another objective. Cutty also told you that one of the wealthiest aristocrats in Stone Market owns a rare pagan relic. Find it and steal it as well. Prove your best by swiping at least 2,500 worth of value this night. A true professional doesn't leave a mess. Don't kill anyone. So I've got my uh, threefold dilemma happening right now. On the one hand, or I guess maybe more, more than threefold, fourfold, I don't like doing the highest loot goals because I tend to miss a lot of loot. And it, I mean, I don't know. It's been a long time since I played one of Skaki's missions, and I don't remember how generous he is with loot above and beyond the loot goal. Certainly some missions, you, when you choose Expert, you're pushing it pretty fine to, to try and find everything. 
or very close to everything. So I don't know about that. Secondly, don't kill anyone. Um, when I get in tight corners on the stream, I do prefer to be able to kill enemies if, they're, if there's no other way to deal with them. Uh, it's preferable to me than, than reloading. But, on the other side, bonus objectives are good. I like bonus objectives. The fourth factor is, this is a skeck mission. It's got rooftops. If it's got rooftops, it's got falls to death or damage. And I will probably need the hit points if I'm going to play without lots of reloading. So I think... Hmm. So I want to say hard. And allow myself room for mistakes without having to quick load, right? All the time. I guess it depends on how high the rooftops are. If I'm falling to my death, that's a quick load of the territory anyway. Ah, fuck it. Let's do an expert. Let's go for the rare pagan relic. Let's see how this goes. If I regret it, then I can put it on the pile of regrets. It's time to go. We have a shop. Hit for 75 and gust for 100. That's a lot. It's a lot of money given I've only got 500 stars. What do I have? I've got a bunch of water arrows. I've got one flash bomb, one healing potion. Let's start by getting ourselves a couple more of those. Oh shit. Or not. Well, flash bombs I can maybe do without. Healing potions I'm gonna need. I'm gonna take the guts from the tip because I always want to find out the information. That leaves me almost nothing. I don't know if I have any noisemakers. No, probably not. They'd be at the top. Um, 75. I guess I should give one more broadhead. And one more water arrow. And that's it. No rip arrows, of course, but I'll have to find some. Which immediately strikes me as an interesting decision, because if this is a rooftop oriented mission that means we start on the streets and then we get up to the rooftops and so it's like going to be attacking this mission in layers even before we get to the mansion. Well, that's pretty neat. Alright, do we have a map here? We do. Wow, okay. Fielding Manor, Usher Palace, Burrows Estate, Felton Manor. Once it goes far in the northwest. So we have a very large area to crawl. This is not going to be a short mission, I guess. And a lot of height, of course. Hereby declare by Burgomaster Hart, with consent from Lord Monsieur, protector of our noble quarter, let it be known that no beggar nor any other man, woman nor child may roam the streets after the eleventh toll of the bell except under direct consent of the Burgomaster. And if a local wandering the streets without such authorization shall taste the whip accordingly. Hereby declared by Burgomaster Hart with consent from Lord Monsegur, protector of our noble quarter. The good Lord Monsegur, in his undying generosity, offers 500 gold pieces to anyone who would bring the wretched criminals plaguing the borough before him or before an officer of the Baron's police, and offers 100 gold pieces to anyone who would give accurate and verified information on their whereabouts. Know that anyone helping these cowards is as good as dead and shall be harshly punished. Hereby declared by Burgomaster Hart with consent from Lord Monsegur, protector of our noble quarter. In the wake of the recent thefts and other burglaries plaguing our noble borough, let it be known that the Baron's police and the Order of the Hammer have taken drastic measures to eradicate the criminal element crawling within the walls of Stone Market. House masters and mistresses are advised to double a guard on their grounds and close their gates and windows until this affair is dealt with. So, we're not welcome on the streets. Oops. Trying to zoom and then just scrolling through my inventory. He doesn't have anything on his belt, does he? No. But Oh, you're right there. I thought the sound's coming from down that way. Reminds me I've got the tip and the gossip to read, so let's read them. Gee. 
It appears a certain judge of dubious process was reportedly seen drinking from fine cups, while the dark streets of Stone Market grew poorer and starved thanks to Mottica's fair toll, and that one of the windows of his high castle is broken and cannot be closed properly. I have seen some people crossing the vicinity recently, going through a nearby tall tenements building. This could be an interesting target for you tonight, provided you can reach it. I've heard this man received something more valuable as well. Your good friend. And gossip. Word on the street is that a band of rogues supposedly operating for Webster have been pilfering the neighbourhood for quite some time, and that these boys are rooftop breaking specialists. One of my acquaintances says their hideout could be located in the sewer system, but there is no definite evidence of that. This is worth investigating. They might have some equipment for your needs, but you shouldn't loiter about for very long. They have a reputation for killing first and asking questions afterwards. Yeah, makes sense. Alright, I need a plan. Uh, what are my objectives? Once it goes to the primary objective, we definitely need to head towards this place, but we want to do a bit of work on the streets first. Um, so neither of those tips talked about rope arrows, although maybe the maybe the sewers, maybe the uh, guys in the sewers would have rope arrows if they're rooftop specialists. It would make sense. Where would the where would be a good entrance to the sewers? I don't know. Maybe the power station. They often connect. Hmm. Otherwise, are there shops nearby? Any shops? There's a market on the left. The market is usually yeah. Uh, well, I don't know, it's possibly... would have... What would you call that, a rope monger? Oh, wow. Streets are... The last time I jumped for rats. <laughs> Streets are crawling with guards. And this one looks like he wants to walk right into me. Have to walk right past me, that's a little better. So, if I want to head towards the market, I'm going west. But if I want to head towards the shadows. Oh, I see uh, some steam coming from sewer grates. Look at this, look at this door, this is beautiful. That is not a door, and there's a texture that tells me that is not a door. Same deal here, I think. Yep. What do I see there? Don't think you can hide for long. Shit. This is already off to a really bad start. Great. Well. I could have just run wildly, but uh, who knows where running wildly would have got me. So I must certainly need some more difficulties. So, uh, you'll just a nice little sleep there, out of the way. The very steep roofs here. Uh, makes sense given all this rain, that they'll uh, shed it very easily. Oh, beautiful. So I need a big, noisy bridge. Not my plan. Oh well. We uh, go in with the current, I guess. Go in with the flow. Edge of the bridge was very narrow, and uh, in trying to adjust my footing in it, I stepped a little too far and fell right off. Cool. All right. Well, we're in this part of town now, where the river runs without giving much in the way of opportunity to exit.
Before we go in here, let me just check where I have ended up. So the river's flowing northwards. So I fill in there, and I guess this is... I guess this is the gate that wants to get its place here. Okay. Well. So that's my first accidental fall, and... I guess I should be lucky it doesn't result in fall damage thanks to the water. Where are we? We've got guards nearby. Waterway portcullis control. Ah, see, that's a bad door. That's a door that's not a door. Um, who is there? Shit. Is someone there? Nope. Come fight me, you coward! I don't want to fight you. you that, asked for it. that was a door that looked exactly like an actual door. Okay, so that would let us into Lord Monsicus, but we're not ready to go there yet. It's uh, kind of unfortunate the mission has got me here so soon. Now I'm stuck waiting for this guy to calm down. I mean, I could burn my one bot flash bomb on him, I suppose. Great start to the mission, there. Great start. This is so tiny and cramped, there's no way really to hide them. Guess I better hope nobody comes in here. Well, that's the street, so let's not go out there just yet. Oh, okay, so this is just. He just stands there. Let's just leave him on the bed, shall we? Oh, look at that. It's like the game was uh, actually trying to help me. Oh, some rim brushing problems. But look, a replacement flash bomb for the one that I lost. Okay. Just do one other thing here. So the mouse. Why is the mouse sensitivity way down? I don't know. It's definitely feeling weird. A little better. Still feels off. Well, I mean, I could have got a rope arrow up to there as well, but. I can't see if there's anything on that beam. So that puts us... That was just here, right? That's the gate controls. And west side. So if we want to head to the market, I'm going to head south. See, there's another bad door. It's a door that looks like a door, but... It's, it's the same texture as one of the stop doors, but it's not... ...openable. But you do have to do the thing where... Oh, it's, it's, this is the same. Stop. Stop. One of the stop door objects uses that texture too. So I'm going to be doing my usual problem thing of complaining about having to run up to every door just to find that it doesn't have a handle. So, uh, footsteps approaching this direction, it sounds like. Yep. Don't 
turn around too soon, mate. That door, on the other hand, does not match. Okay, all right. Mark it. Hmm, where am I going to go from here? right here. <coughs> Not a door. Where is this guard I'm hearing? Oh, he's reading the notices. I assume they're the same notices. So the market is not giving me any uh, anything. Let's see what's around this corner. Nothing. Nothing at all. Well, I guess I head south then, because there seems to be nowhere to go here. Well, there's a door by that market stand, but is it? Is it a door or is it just a picture of a door? Looks like just a picture of a door. <laughs> Thought I saw something. Hello? Oh. What would there be to see? There's nobody around. Everybody's, of course, yeah. too busy. stays long, away long enough for me to pick the lock. Because I am extremely brightly lit right now. Moss arrows, water arrows, nice. And a speed potion. I don't know when I'll have a use for that, but... I can never tell, certainly. It's always nice to have a little more equipment. Just tweak this a little. I don't know if it's supposed to, if I want it up or down. Let's try up first. No, that's definitely wrong. Or is it? Yeah, it's just different. Different than what I'm used to. Too low. Let's just go back to the middle. Let's just try and get used to that. dead end here, maybe? <sighs> that wouldn't be great. Or maybe there's some access to the sewers or something from here. Or... nothing. Hmm. Okay, I guess we head east to around Usher Street and see if there's anything around here. Otherwise, 
Guess we try rubbing these places. There's a, there's a bridge of cursed falling. I see ledges and things that I can climb on once I get up there. Once I get you up there, where the air is rarefied. That's where I'll hide. <sighs> Something. We interpret the song. Okay. <coughs> Great, just a need hammerites. Yay. Who comes unto me? Think not that thou shalt vanish now. I it's see you there. Bucker, you turn away. You know what? This time I saw this ledge here, so... Let's see what's through this doorway. While well, those guys hopefully forget about me. Someone in here as well. I might have to start actually playing knockout with these guys because <coughs> these streets are very narrow and too well lit. There's not really a ton of places to hide, and if I keep getting caught, it's gonna be <coughs> eventually start eating to my help. I'm kind of lucky it hasn't yet. Is this guy just standing on the stairway above me? Does this go? You remember when Webster's top boy here said they wanted to take over Lower Locks? Looks like they've set their plan in motion, if you ask me. They want to wear the boss down here so they can freely operate in Lower Locks. They want to wear the boss down here so they can freely operate in Lower Locks. They don't want to wear him like a human suit. That would be gross and disgusting. I told you I saw these guys use grappling hooks and other stuff to climb sheer heights, and Stone Market seems to be the perfect playground for them, with all these towering spires and high walls. I get all dizzy when I have to watch over the parapets and all, and the captain I have is less than amazing. Remember that Taffer Darren? That's right, he's my captain now. For some reason, he climbed hierarchy. Not using grappling hooks and other stuff. That guy is so disrespect dis disrespectful, and won't hear me out when I say that these thieves are just a distraction. Do your job and shut your and mouth, he says. Never listens to anybody but himself. Say your word again and I stick my sword up your Belgian throat, he says again. I think a little trip over the walls to the street below will soften his attitude. I knew that would work for me, Ethan. Planning a little captain side, are we? Stands there and turns around, okay. Let's get up there. Hmm. I'm all I'm hearing is footsteps, 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 so we're kind of waiting to see, get an idea of what the actual threats. Hearing at least what sounds like four sets of footsteps, it's very hard to tell. I think there's only the one guard up here, right? Again, lots of lights, lots of narrow spaces, a few shadows. Very hostile territory. So that's the guy below me. The machinery banging noises don't make it any uh, better. That 
it's not a safe place to hide. Places to hide, like did I mentioned that. Is that you? So how am I gonna get past this guy? Well, I we'll wait here on the ladder till he goes outside, and then maybe check that room. But... There's so no way to hide in this room. <coughs> he has a friend outside. So it means that hiding outside is going to be Listen. difficult. Over there. Hear that? Mullen, I'm telling you again that even if we do business with Montego, playing their game is more trouble than it's worth. I'm sure you remember Elvestrom, that poor bugger from Low Reach who got a nice beating from recruiters leg breakers the other day. Do you want to end up like him? I don't think so. He was lucky to end up with only four missing fingers and his right arm broken to pieces. But this won't happen next time. Keep doing your job and don't ask questions. The fact that the wall was betrayed by one of his own clearly shows how these city wardens operate. They're just a bunch of low lives, but they are powerful and dangerous. You should stay away from their business if you know what's good for you. Cedric. P.S. Whatever you do, just stay away from Newmarket. Recruiter's tough boys seem to be very twitchy lately for some reason. Could be because of Mr. Beric's death. Apparently they fished his corpse in the canal near Widow's Way the other day in Asimlark's territory. This won't appease tensions. You know what I'm gonna do? Burn uh, whatever. Find it doesn't actually help at them, but great. What a waste. Please don't see me, Mr. Archer. <sighs> While I steal your money. Alright, where am I and where am I going? I don't know. I am. Uh, I don't know the answer to either of those questions. You know what? I'm going to start knocking people out. Professionalism is all very well, but sometimes... Sometimes you just need to knock some heads in. And these guys are going to be the first. <laughs> then I'll introduce to my little friend here. It'll Oh, fuck off! Come fight me, you coward! Go fight yourself. Now what am I supposed to do? Can't jump down. There's no way to just uh, run circles around this guy and go down the ladder. <sighs> Alright, that's all I gotta do, that's all I gotta do. Search, finish searching for me. Well, I suppose I can knock this guy out while I'm waiting. Let's just let's just clean up. Let's just start cleaning up. It's gonna be a oh, heck of a lot easier. Oh, he's calmed down. He's not gonna be fully calm. He's still gonna be on edge. Where's this guy? Come on. Which is honestly a surprise. 
Now there's nowhere to hide in here, but there is out there, so... I guess I could just run behind him. Just gonna quick save, but don't quick save on a ladder. It's poor, poor health. Why am I hearing what sounds like somebody hunting? Wow, he actually heard me then and was turning around. Did you notice that? Christ. You can join your friend down here. Seeing you anywhere and getting spooked by you. Just as a matter of uh, tidying up. Okay. Lots of small narrow windows that allow people to see through and, and see me through, and that I can get excess noise through, but that I can't fit through. Maybe I can ask the question of where am I? I don't know actually. It's a big mansion there. I'm looking south. So I came in here. Is this the Burroughs Estate? Am I in the Burroughs Estate? Surely not, because this was only guards. I mean I'm in this building. Then I guess I'm looking across Sir Asher Palace. Oh, well, that's the bridge. That's the Bridge of Doom there. I'm above here looking at Fielding Manor. That's what I'm doing. Okay, that makes more sense. Right, well, there's this window I can get out of. Finding my way to the sewers, huh? Hello. Another speed potion, that's unusual. I can cross this this roof. Where does this take me? That looks like it goes somewhere interesting. Okay, let's just keep track of where I am, where I'm going. Crossing here, so this is Grime Street, no Grime Street. That's Castle Terminate in the distance, I guess. This way does not lead anywhere, let's go the other way. Get down. I, Sir Thomas William Maxwell, honest proprietor of this fine house in our most esteemed Stone Market District, hereby declare the monthly canal card game open, in which participants will fight to the very death, in a manner of speaking. Winners shall drink and woo lasses, and losers shall plunge into the canal below and be mocked. Place your bets now. Participants. Sir Thomas Milton William Maxwell, Bartholomew McGregor, Count Drakenkald, Turnip Willie Boulders, Sir Percy Percy. Not a door. <laughs> I guess the losers 
go over the rooftop there. Oh, that's the clock tower, I see. The kind of clock where nobody can see it. I mean, the streets here are built too high for the clock tower to be useful to people on the streets, so it's obviously only for the nobles looking out there. I manage from windows to be able to tell the time. <laughs> okay. There's a balcony there with somebody walking along it. So that's directly north of the clock tower. We're not at Montague's place yet, are we? Well, this is Montague's place already. Damn it! Where's my where's my sewers? Where's my rope arrows? I mean, this is this could be a way in. Like, there's a water gate. There's a, there's a passage in here. Well, I guess this is twice we've ended up at his at his place, so. Seems like it would be a shame. To waste to waste the opportunity, right? I think I'm gonna knock this guy out too, because I can't easily see a way past him. I suppose getting past him is possible. Oyster key. Oh, this is a dead end. Okay, this isn't Monster Ghost Place. Well, I mean, it's not. Maybe it is, maybe it's not, but it doesn't let me in. Where is this cloister that the key is for? Well, that's a question I don't know an answer to. <laughs> Alright, uh, mate. Something there. You get to keep your bonnet today. Guess I'm down in there. Now what? Now what? Now where? Go back down to the streets. Alright. Climb. Don't jump. You can go back down to the streets, I suppose. The quick way or the slow way. Follow the losers of the card game. I don't think there's anywhere else to get to from up here that I can find, so... What is a cloister key for? I have no idea. No idea where a cloister would be. I mean, there were some hammerites hanging around here, but that's... It's not a cloister, right? Well... Mm-mm. <clears throat> On the other hand, if I jump in there, I'm just going with the current again. Oh, hello. Oh, no, that's not an open window. Alright. There is a balcony there. Oh, there's a guard. There's definitely uh, an interior. I could maybe make it onto that roof. I could try that. It's not going to let me make it into the... What's there? 
Oh well. Nah. Won't be able to make it to the balcony that way, so. So we're back here again. Hello, oh, that's a pipe. I didn't notice it was a pipe last time. Ah. Sewers, says you. Sewers, says I. And try to climb up. through the door, that's not supposed to happen. If that's one of the uh, thieves, then he's a little worse for wear. I wonder why I was able to lean through that door, that's very unusual. to the steam bees you can apply or just the noisy ones. Seems like just the noisy ones. Uh, yeah, I know how you feel. That's one of those days, isn't that? It's a broad head, not a rope. sewers I haven't been in. So, uh, let's see where this takes us. Power station. Feels like maybe it is. It's like kind of. Blackjack out or anything. It's just like. It's really. Why is it so twitchy? It's like I was in full darkness. And he walks into me. He's immediately 100% hostile. Right. I uh, keep doing my knockout because it's the only tactic that seems viable. Prefer to be stealthy, but. It's not working. So. So, fuck stealth. I will kick it out of that window and into that one. I guess that's the only way to go from here. <laughs> so I was 
nice bedroom. Obviously a hammerite, I've got crates of hammers. Not a door. They have nothing in here. They don't have any valuables for me. What do I swear on oath of poverty or something? Aha! Now they can keep me out of the party. They're obviously hiding that from someone. Alright. Well... I don't want to jump back into the canal, but I'm not sure where else I can go. Maybe make it over to that roof and carefully slide down to that balcony. Feels like a possibility. But, um... I think, for now, I will end the episode here. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon for the next one.